Ron, we mentioned about personal branding, and I feel that personal branding, networking, and content creation should be something constant and not job and not just only when you're applying for a job. You should be doing that. I'm doing that all the time. And I have a job because I like to give value and I want people to know who I am and what I represent. So in that, in terms of that, for new students or new immigrants who they don't know anything about how to use personal branding and why it's important. So what can you tell them about that? You know, your personal brand is, and I've said this before to other people, it's literally the most important thing you have. Mm -hmm. It defines uh, who you are for better or worse, how we appear online. Yes. Uh, has a great deal to do with how people think we are in real life, right? Yes. Uh, and so I think you need to be authentic. I think you need to be posting things that actually matter to you. Mm -hmm. I think your content needs to be relevant. Yes. Um, I, I, I struggle because I think each platform offers different opportunities for content. And I think it's okay today to share things about you personally that may not have been acceptable 20 years ago, right? Uh, when we talk about our political beliefs, uh, yeah. I think 2020, uh, using political beliefs as an example, I think 2020 made it unbelievably acceptable uh, for us to begin to voice how we feel about certain social issues, yes. equality, diversity, LGBTQ rights, yeah. whatever it is, we feel like it, that it's okay to have yeah. that conversation. And I think companies are beginning to have that conversation. So mm -hmm. tip number one, be authentic, be who you are. Yeah. Two, try to either educate, entertain, or enlighten someone yes. when you put up a piece of content. Um, Make sure that you're not just, as my good friend Joel Lalji from Hoxo Media likes to say, um, make sure that you're not just the person who knows how to click the share button, yeah. right? Like, it's okay to share content. I agree with Joel there, and I think you should. When you see an article that makes sense or it, or it has passion yeah. behind what you're doing, go ahead and share that. But you need to be creating things. They don't yeah. need to be extravagant. They don't need to be any more than your life experience. You don't yeah. have to do it 10 times a day. Yeah. You're not trying to be an influencer, but mm -hmm. you're trying to give people a sense of who you are. Yeah. And that mm -hmm. goes a long way to building your personal brand. And recruiters look at that stuff, yeah. right? Because our cultures today inside organizations are so important. Yeah. And if you, if you have one political belief and everybody in the company has a different political belief, right? Yeah. And you're posting things, uh, you may want to think about how that's perceived by other people. Yes. You want to think about how other people look at that. And I'm not saying anybody should have one belief or another. I don't care which one it is. Yeah. Be true to you. Whatever it is that is that is authentic, authentic to you. Care is exactly what you should be doing. And because, and also in my previous conversation with other people, they were saying that you should be authentic where you are. It you should not your personal brand should be the same at home at work and with friends of course maybe with friends it can be a little bit different but at home and your friend it will be the same and you should not be faking it because it's tiring to fake it well i think i think people read through that really quickly yeah um that's when i you know politics is such a touchy subject yes but people need to be people need to be authentic to who they are i may not agree with someone's political leanings yeah but i don't have a problem with giving them the space to be who they are, who they are yeah. i don't care about that yeah uh, I only care if it infringes on my life and the yeah. things that I want to do and my beliefs. Yeah. I'm not going to force feed mine down your throat. I don't want you to do that to yeah. me. But in terms of everything else, you know, if I like, you know, if I, I, I put up pictures about my dog, yeah. I put up and I do that on LinkedIn, mm -hmm. but I try to work it into uh, a business conversation. Yes. Right? How does, how does, like I, I did a post a long time ago about how my dog was a better recruiter than <laughs> I am. And the reasons why she was a better yeah. recruiter and and people seem to to really gravitate to that yeah. so don't think you need twenty thousand or fifty thousand followers to yeah. create content you don't yeah it all starts slow even yeah. guys like gary vaynerchuk and some of the other people out there started with one or two followers yes right but they started with zero followers and exactly, then they grow exactly but their content was relevant it was real and it was authentic and authentic. it gave something back and that's that would yeah. be my my tip to yeah. anybody immigrant or otherwise yeah. Thank you.